So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the Heron font. Um, at that time, you were probably searching for the meaning of life, and people considered you to be a great loyal friend. When you were called on for advice or help with some important matters or issues, um, people looked up to you because they found your intelligence and empathy putting you in a putting you in a position to provide to provide tremendous support now keep in mind this could have been you this could have been you or someone coming towards you at that time uh, that someone could have been quick-witted well-educated a wise teacher marked by integrity uh, quite frankly, that person, or this would be you, uh, would have been the, what they call the genuine article. A true blue, highly admired individual who walk the walk, talk the talk, and stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Like I said, this could have been you at that time or someone that was coming towards you. That's the Hierophant, and let's go to the um, Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords, you may have been holding yourself back because you feared moving into the future or because you were afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe just for no reason at all. You needed to think through what it was you were afraid of because the truth of the situations were probably much less frightening than your mind was making it out to be. That's the Eight of Swords, and that was the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Now with the Ten of Pentacles, you have a great deal to be thankful for at this time. Relationships, finance, health, all of those things should be going well for you. You, you should consider how you got to such a happy situation, make the best of it, and be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone. Because we all know we give back what we give out. The Ten of Pentacles is paired with the Hermit card. Now, this is an extremely spiritual card, and it often has to do with institutions, organizations, anything from, it could be a bank or a church. Just like the strength card, uh, you may be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so you can clear your head. This is uh, also a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes what's right for you personally. And not just worry about what the wants and needs of others are. With these two cards paired together, the Ten of Pentacles, uh, you have a whole lot to be thankful, thankful for at this time. Your relationships, finance, your health, Everything's, it's all going well for you at this time. Share what you have. You are, um, you should be feeling pretty blessed. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to share what you have and it's paired with the Hermit card. You probably will feel like spending time alone, even though uh, you're blessed and you have a great deal to be thankful for. Um, being that you may just want to feel, being that you feel like you may just want to be alone, uh, try to take walks around the house, walk around the park, um, because it seems like you might have a lot on your mind at this time, even though things are going well. Um, you, you're struggling between doing the right thing and probably doing something that um, others want you to do. So they could be having a struggle in those two matters because that's what the Hermit card 
um, can indicate. So take some walks alone, spend some alone time. This will help clear your head, okay? Because um, it's about trying to do the right thing, but you may be struggling with something someone else wants you to do, okay? So uh, things should be going well for you with the Ten of Pentacles. But you need to clear your head with the Hermit card. And um, by, like I said, by spending some time alone, taking some walk, exercising is a good thing too. It helps clear the, the brain. It cl helps clear the mind. It helps to focus. And that's going to be the present. And let's move on to the challenge. We have the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles... Uh, there's probably two main issues. Two main issues in your mind at this time. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking at this time, it is not your friend. You may need to cut down on things you are doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. Be sure you're paying attention to that, which will be your financial situation. The Two of Pentacles is paired with the Queen of Pentacles. This card indicates that you will be spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable and to, to a place where you would like for it to be or just a feeling that you would like for it to be. Now this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much expenses and, and or debt. People will be looking up, people will be looking up for you. I'm sorry, people will be looking to you. They'll be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you're inclined to do so. If you decide to do so, you'll be able to help them. This is a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. With these two cards paired together, the two of pentacles, there is some focus on your house, your home, your uh, living situation. Uh, you probably feel like it needs work or it just needs some attention. Okay, and that's fine, that's fine and well as long as you remember not to take on too much debt, okay, because you're going to need to pay attention to your financial situation with the Two of Pentacles. And being that it's paired with the Queen of Pentacles, um, it's still about spending time and money and energy on your home. And the Two of Pentacles is about multitasking. Okay, so you'll be multitasking, trying to get your home together. Now, uh, the Two of Pentacles, uh, you need to cut down on some things in order to focus on your financial situation, getting it to be more balanced. The Queen of Pentacles is the focus on the home. Yes, you wanna get the home organized, back to where it should be, um, so that you could feel better about your 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 living situation uh, with the two of pentacles you want to make sure that you don't spend too much money doing that so uh, the two of pentacles you need to focus on your finances make sure you balance it out and don't spend too much time or don't spend too much money don't spend too much of your pentacles on trying to get your home the way you need or want for it to be and that's going to be the challenge now we move on to the outcome. We have the Justice card. Now the Justice card, it deals with karma. The law of cause and effect. So you, it's, important for you to, it's important for you to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions. Sometimes you'll have to deal with the results of actions of someone you care about. So make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, if you're involved in a court case, it's more than likely to be resolved in your favor. That's with the Justice card. And it's paired with the Page of Wands. The 
Page of Wands are people who are warm, ambitious, and usually high achievers. If this is not a person in your life, the Page of Wands it indicates energy of easy distraction. So try to stay focused. Uh, if you started something some time ago, it's starting to come to fruition, it's starting to come to life. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. The page brings positive energy, but we have to supply the follow-up. We have to supply the follow-through to see results. With these two cards paired together, the Justice card is about karma. Whatever you put out is coming back to you at this time. It doesn't matter how long ago it was or what it was. It's coming back to you. So hopefully you, you've done right by other people. Okay? And it's paired with the Page of Wands. Um, try to stay focused because um, things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. Uh, that's pretty much about karma that's coming back to you. Stay focused because whatever you put out, like I said, whatever you put out there long time ago or recently is coming back to you. So stay focused, okay, because it will also be a good time for new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. It brings positive energy. So hopefully whatever's coming back to you is good because I'm sure you put out only good to other people in situations. So it's going to hit you real hard because karma usually comes back ten times. Okay, so just stay focused and enjoy the fruits of your labor. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day.